So today I have this LV Cancun pochette that I want to clean the inside. As you can see, it's very, very dirty. And I started cleaning it. And I saw that right here, you can tell that I started cleaning it. And I saw that it was looking very, very, very nice. And it's not sticky or anything like that. So I wanted to share with you guys this tip just in case you guys also need to clean yours out. So, or any other LV product that has this material inside, right? I'm going to be using is this LA's totally awesome all-purpose concentrated cleaner from the Dollar Tree. And I have a little cup. I put some water in it. Don't mind that yellow stuff in there. That's from when I was cleaning it. I left some of this in there and it just dried up. But so I put a little bit of water in there as you can see. It's very little bit. And I'm just going to add the same amount of the water of this. And I don't need a lot. That's why it's very little. Because this is a small item anyway. So I'm just going to add some in here. I shouldn't be doing that on top of the product, right? And then I'm just going to stir it. You can use anything to stir it or mix it together. And then I'm also going to be using the... Uh, I cut this from this hand, handy chamois. I also picked this up at the dollar store. I just cut off a little piece. And believe it or not, I'm going to be using this plastic knife. I didn't... I, well, I didn't mean to use this. And it ended up being so useful that I want to share that with you guys. So, all I do is, but just because I want you guys to see, like, you know, like, the complete video without any pauses or or interruptions between of how this is going to look. And, um, obviously it's going to dry and I need it, give it some time to dry. But, within a couple minutes, you guys will see the changes so all I do is just in circles I just scrub it I do pressure put some pressure on it with my the tip of my finger even my fingernail and then so I do that and I also look you can see already coming off the dirt right and believe it or not I do this you see how it looks lighter already so that's just removing the dirt and it didn't damage it at all, so you can use this side or you can even use the flat side. And look at it. You can see it, just the change already. Just by the little force I'm using. You can do circular motions. Or just back and forth. And then what you also do is you pat it. Just so you can remove it. just trying to absorb as much as I can of the liquid so I'm scrubbing it but I'm also like trying to like pick up the excess liquid let's try this clean spot over here see if it picks up anything
I still have to do the I'm not gonna go all the way in but I do want to do this edge right here so this is what it looked like remember this is what I want to remove this is what was over here and you guys can already tell look at that and it's not even dry so of course it's gonna lighten up so while that dries instead of having you guys just sit there <laughs> and wait I'm just gonna clean the other side off the edge probably try cleaning right here where the button clasp is as well so yeah guys don't be afraid to clean your items I mean they deserve to get some TLC and you know be cleaned up especially after having them for so many years some of us have had these items for years and years and years and we can't really be afraid to like just clean them up you know Look at that. So. I know this is not even. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's so much more dirt I could take off of this. But. I'm not going to kill myself either. Just trying to get it like. Brand new. Because I'm not. This is mine. I'm not selling it or anything like that. Alright guys. So. This is what it looks like so far. All that disgusting grime and dirt came off. And we just need to let it dry. I'm going to try to see if I can get that button as well. You guys see that right there? Yeah, that dark spot. I'm going to try to get... I don't want to fold it. I already have like a crack right here. Really small one. But this comes with the territory. I mean, this bag, you need to open the flap, right, to get it into it. So maybe I'll try not to like not push it back as much so I'm just gonna try to like add a little bit of liquid right there see right there and just kind of like scrub it with the tip of this plastic knife All right, let's see we'll see how that looks when it's dried but I do think it kind of cleaned up so I don't think I'm gonna like go into the rest because the rest is not really dirty as you guys can see. It was just mostly like the rim right here and the edge, all this. So I'm gonna let this dry. And we shall see. So this video is already 24 minutes long. Oh my god, I did not imagine it was gonna be that long. I talk a lot. Um obviously you guys know <laughs> you guys saw me from the beginning. So I like cleaned it up and this I'm just going to show you when it um, dries. Even if I do speed it up, it's still going to be kind of long. So this is what it looks like for now. And then I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done drying. Okay, guys. So I'm back after a couple of days of letting this dry. And as you guys can see, look at the amazing difference cleaning that up did to this look how beautiful it looks it's amazingly different and I also did clean up the inside right here the edge on the front it was dirty and I cleaned it up and you see right here where the button was where the button is in the front you remember it was dirty sorry about that so I cleaned that up and it looks so good. You can see the shadow of the, but look at that. Look how clean it looks. So that was just that one time and I just cleaned it up a little bit and look how amazing it looks. I'm super happy with the result. And if you guys want to see how I clean up this piping and give some shine to the canvas, 
let me know down below and I'll record that video. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. I tried to make it as short as possible. I'll talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.